We just saw the Fed cut 50 basis points today. I think it's extremely bullish for equities, especially if you invest in crypto. I don't understand why there would be any bearish sentiment coming from this. Again, the same people that are reiterating this sentiment have been dead wrong the entirety of 2024. They're just fear-mongering, perma-bear people that don't have a successful track record. So make sure you're double and triple checking where you're getting your information from. I know a lot of people, they're in the now, they're in the minutes and the seconds, and they think, okay, we've only been having this conversation for a few weeks. No, Powell came out last fall, I believe it was sometime in September, and we talked about what the goal was for 2024. I believe there was going to be a ton of rate cuts. I don't know how many there were. I think it could have been upwards of maybe four to even six cuts. I do believe there was a ton of expectation and priced in rate cuts that never came, right? We saw into the end of 23, nothing, early 24, three months went by, six months went by. Now, nine and a half months later, we're looking at the same thing, no rate cuts. So for today to go from 25 to 50, I think it's actually a positive because again, the sentiment or the priced in perspective was 25. So for people to want and anticipate the market to react to what everyone is thinking is very foolish, okay? I don't understand why you'd even want 25. It's been over a year, we need 50. Now, for me, I wouldn't wanna see anything more than that. No 75, that would be crazy. I think that would actually raise more eyebrows, more concern. I know there are a lot of concerns, but the three main things I wanna focus on, first is inflation. The Fed Fed's goal is 2%. We saw not that long ago, it was north of 3%. It was absolutely unsustainable. And now that level has dropped tremendously. They are on track hitting those milestones. And I do believe they are going to get to their goal over the next few quarters. The second point is going to be consumer goods and overall the cost of living. Like we mentioned, when inflation was through the roof months ago, it was just simply unsustainable to live life. Gas was five, six dollars plus. I think in California, it was even upwards of almost eight, ten dollars a gallon. I mean, things that you just cannot go with long term. It's just again, like we said, not sustainable. So even during those times, yes, it was much more difficult. There was a lot more fear and panic, public sentiment wise, but people still got through. They still made it, even though it was very difficult, even though I'm sure it was much harder times. Now we're seeing that those numbers are down tremendous, right? On the East Coast, we're sub $3, we're low threes, high twos, and that is fluctuating, you know, plus or minus a quarter, you know, each week. So definitely coming down a lot just in terms of the cost of living, and that's naturally having an effect from inflation dropping. But really what ties it all together, the consumer sentiment, are people fearful? Are they hoarding their money? Are they not spending? That is a real indication of when a man massive economic slowdown is going to occur. For me personally, I don't see any drastic levels that are showing a massive slowdown in consumer spending. Until that changes, until those three things are altered, right? Inflation starts going through the roof. We're not creating jobs, all of these things. I really can't sit there and say that we're at the point where our economy is slowing down to the level that it's going to directly impact the stock market. I don't think that's the case. I don't think one single economic factor is is going to have an impact like that on the markets, especially when Powell told us that the Fed is going to do everything they can to support the labor markets and make sure that it is not going to be an inflationary issue, pretty much meaning that they're going to continue to get to their goal and hit their targets as long as the labor market does not get in the way of inflation going down. So again, when I'm looking at all of these factors, that's what I'm seeing. I mean, ask yourself this question. Are people really not spending their money? Are people really that fearful? I mean, you hear the same sentiment all the time. So leave a comment in the section below any real logical explanation as to why people would be bearish on this 50 basis point cut. I think it's more than necessary. We're paying a trillion dollars in interest every 100 days as a nation. It just does not make sense. It's like I said with gas, you just can't have eight to $10 gas on average. It's not sustainable long term. It's going to cause more harm than good. That's what we're seeing here, which just in terms of our government. And definitely, I think it's going to be a net positive for multiple different sectors. This is SPX, the index for all the people that are so bearish, right? What are we seeing? Well, we have this little gap here, right? And we have our central lows or our temporary bottoms. Now, in this case, we've seen four to five gradual days of the bottoms going higher. Even though we dumped today, we did not go lower. 
And then we're seeing the same exact thing with the tops, right? The tops are gradually getting higher. So we're seeing consistent higher highs and higher lows over a five day window. Even today, after this drop, I think it felt very, very controlled here to where this point was hunted for. It refilled that liquidity. And I think tomorrow we're going to blast off. That's my personal opinion, because again, I don't see any reason for why equities or why the market right now would react in a bearish way. This is what they've been wanting. This is what Wall Street has been salivating at for almost a year plus. So again, like I said, let me know in the comments. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe there's something that I'm not seeing or a factor that I'm missing, but I don't think that's the case. I think we're going to start to rally. I think it's going to be very positive for crypto going into elections. I've been bullish for over a year. I'm staying bullish. This is the beginning of the next wave. We're going into the second round of this AI tech boom cycle. And then again, it's going to be followed into elections with crypto and Bitcoin breaking out. It's really a replay of 2020, 2021. That's how I see it. But you let me know your thoughts and opinions in the section below. Have a great day. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.